Early 2023, detectives received a Crime Stopper tip that a store employee was selling drugs at the Treasure Coast Square Mall in Jensen Beach, Florida. Do you use mushrooms? Yes. How much mushrooms do you use at a time? Uh, I microdose them usually, but about a gram. Now, what if I told you that we've been buying from you for a bit? I was in a really bad place at the time, um, so I, I did that. I did it in the dark in my bed. And um, you know, I like time travel. It was pretty, it was scary. I like partied with demon clown guys and stuff. Jesus. It was just, um, yes. I was down on my looking to hit me a lick. Ready to get into some since I was a jit. I had big dreams of getting rich. Now we leveling up in this Take a look at my kids. You know we stepping on toughest. The first one to get hit don't make me send a blitz. My head is itching for it. How don't you spit like a list? But wait. Whoa. Whoa, now what's the motherfucker the Kane deal? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bootleg Ass Studio. We come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot this shit with Sheldon, man. Listen, if you ain't subscribed to the channel by now, you're doing myself and yourself a disservice. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap that notification bell as well. That way, you are amongst those who are notified as soon as I release new content. Also, don't be shy. Drop me some in that comment section. That way, I can familiarize myself with you and recognize who you are as we are reacting to the videos. And I appreciate each and every last one of my viewers. So, if you do drop me some in that comment section and I see it, I will respond to it or I'll give it a heart at the very least you feel me so you might just want to be on your best behavior because if you's a troll i will get on your dog ass indubitably video of today <laughs> title reads when you accidentally sell drugs to an undercover cop while at work diesel gots to be more careful out you man so you at work making money and on top of that you're trying to make more money hey hey i respect the hustle you feel me Anyway, before we get up into it, this video today is brought to you by First Class Glass. First Class Glass is a smoke shop located in Longview. They have a second location in Tyler. Actually, they have two locations in Longview, one location in Tyler, Texas. That's if you're in the Texas area. Smoke shop where you can get your smokables, T-A-C-A, -A, and where you can get your smoke accessories from papers, rolling tips, uh, bongs, water pipes, whatever have you. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And today... We was gifted some pre-rolls. We got Blue Dream and we got OG Kush. You feel me? I don't know which one of these I want to. Blue Dream, OG Kush. Let's see which one smell better. Blue Dream smell pretty good. OG smell pretty good. Both of these are THCA products. 50 states wide. They're legal. You understand me? So uh, I guess I'm going to go with the Blue Dream. Blue Dream and Lean like Juicy J. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to spark up my situation before we get started. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are a newcomer. Let's not waste no more time. Let's go and see what this video is talking about when you accidentally sell drugs to an undercover cop while at work. Hit that like button. Let go. If you ain't fucking with my nigga sell, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Early 2023, detectives received a Crime Stopper tip that a store employee was selling drugs at the Treasure Coast Square Mall in Jensen Beach, Florida. A 27-year-old male named Patrick thought it was wise to launch a side hustle Damn, within Pat. Zoomies, where he sold hallucinogens and other unconventional items not approved by Zoomies to customers of all ages. As per the Martin County Sheriff's Office, Patrick had been selling mushrooms for a couple months in the store. Undercover detectives initially spoke with Patrick at the store. Ladies and so hold on, bro. You trying to get your side hustle on, which I, re I highly respect. Anybody that's just gonna sit there and wait for a job to get rich or get paid, you understand me? I ain't gonna say I don't respect you, but I respect somebody who puts forth the effort into trying to get more and not settling for less. But you at work, you know, they got cameras everywhere, so the chances are you getting caught. If you do get caught, they can run those cameras back and do a full investigation on your ass to see how long and how many, how long you've been doing it, how many people you've been serving, how much money you've possibly made off of it. Yeah, diesel. Two separate occasions and purchase psilocybin mushrooms from him on September 1st. Hold on, what happened with our music? Patrick had been selling mushrooms for a couple months in the store. Undercover detectives initially spoke with Patrick at the store. Mm. Later, they returned on two separate occasions and purchased psilocybin mushrooms from him. 
On September 1st, Patrick's rapidly expanding enterprise would soon face its abrupt downfall. So that mean that boy was going up. That boy said rapidly. Hold on, what that man say? I want to I want to quote him correctly. Patrick's rapidly expanding enterprise. Rapidly expanding enterprise. That mean, hey man, everybody was letting folks know if you want some of that, they'll go to Zoomies and you gonna get your Zoom on. Like boosy boo, zoom, zoom. I don't God, man. Listen, Pat had that yeah. Would soon face its abrupt downfall. Mm. He at work, not knowing Nathan. He probably woke up that morning. What if he? What if he almost decided to call off that day, but didn't? Now he's at work. He's like, okay, fuck it. I'm gonna have my product with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my 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 eight hours at work, and then I'm gonna make. I could possibly make this much. I'm gonna have this amount of shrooms with me. Hopefully, I can get at least three hundred off the off the shrooms a day. You know what I'm saying? He thinking that. He ain't thinking he about to get caught, go to jail. Yeah. You know. Mmm. The blue dream, all right. What's up, man? Patrick, how are you, buddy? What up? Hey, Patrick. Yeah. I got the picture in his mind, you're back. We're we'll putting everything in a second, okay? You're set. Mine's double off. You got him. We'll explain everything in a second. Damn, why not first? I got him. Here. This is my. Uh, Hello, how are you? Where's his black backpack? What's up? He's got a black backpack. Is this his? This one's his? Okay. Thank you. I didn't know he had a black backpack. Alright, I'm just gonna double lock these on you, okay? So they don't walk up on you, okay? Yeah. We'll explain everything to you here in a minute, alright? Alright. Do you have anything in your pocket that's gonna stick me or me or anything like that? Oh, no, no, stick me. I got a phone. Where's your black backpack at? My black backpack? Yeah. You got it. Got it. You got it. Upon searching his bag, they discovered a 30 gram plastic Ziploc bag containing mushrooms that tested positive for psilocybin. Nothing else on there. Nothing in your shoes. What's up? Uh, probably would, yeah. Could be able to make phone calls too when he gets to the office, there. Right? Of course. They're talking about some dude I need to call somebody in to cover his ship or whatever, I'm sure. Yes, his ass is going to jail. The fuck? Right. Unless I want to be short handed. It's got to be embarrassing as fuck. You work with these people, even though you ain't at that specific job. You go to on your break, you walking out, you know, you may be getting some food from some of these places from the food court. You may be shopping at other stores. People know you. People come to your store to shop, so they know you. And you walking out in handcuffs, being escorted by police, that's, that's heavy. You understand me? Okay. Okay. We are just outside the uh, where the movie theaters are. Or actually, if one of you guys want to take a photo, I'll do that. Anybody got their work phone on them? Hey man, Pat had that pack, man. What's up? Bring you right to the center, okay? Okay. I'm on the other side. Okay. You're gonna go in the front seat, all right? All right. This man got a front row, front seat action. What? <laughs> Going back to the office? Yeah. I ain't never seen that. And the police jumped in the back. Hold up. This is a different kind of white privilege right here, man. The fuck? 
I ain't never. He's white male, 1015, 51 to SID. He was subsequently taken to the police department for an interview regarding the events that had taken place. All right, Brandon. You have the, the, yep. What's your name, dude? Patrick. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Obviously, we're here because you got yourself in a little bit of a pickle. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have any idea that I don't know if anyone explained anything to you yet or anything? Nope. So, months ago, we got complaints of you selling mushrooms, weed, just stuff to not only people coming in and out of the store, but also the juveniles. Okay. Does any of this ring a bell at all? No. You don't sell anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing at all? No. Okay. Is that what you're going to stick with? Mm-hmm. All right. So, was it? Mm -hmm. you had a black bag with you today. Yes. Is that your back bag? Mm-hmm. Do you know what was inside of it? Yeah. What was inside of it? Keys. There were mushrooms inside the bag. Do you use mushrooms? Yes. How much mushrooms do you use at a time? Uh, I microdose them usually, but about a gram. Now, what if I told you that we've been buying from you for a bit? Still, does any of this ring a bell? Like you've been sick? Ew. That's heavy. That boy said, now what if I tell you we have been buying from you, nigga? You are a supplier, nigga. <laughs> shit, ask him, shit, do they hit? Is it some good shit? Let me know. Do I need to switch up the plug? What the? You know what I'm talking about? What's going down? Holla at me. Talk to me. <laughs> like, you know, we Still don't know what you're talking about. With you. Okay. Do you want me to elaborate, like, refresh your mind a little? If you want. It's a little blurry. That's you in the store. Mm-hmm. That's you during a deal that we did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have that outfit? I do. I just found it. Yeah. So, once again, that's you. We know for a fact you deal. Okay. So do you do it to like help yourself with extra money, with financially? Oh no, nah, I just do it. It's just a sport for me. You know, I, I want to be the best shroom weed dealer that goes down in history. That's what I do it for. I don't give a fuck about no money. I don't give a damn about nothing. Nigga, what do anybody do it for? Okay, well, I take it back. Some of these, some of these new niggas out here doing it for clout. So let's just be a thousand. Yo, they out here doing shit for clout nowadays, so I guess that's a, I guess that's a valid question to ask. Or help people out, or what's the deal? Um, yeah, I just don't do anything bad, nothing that bad, so. And I'm not saying that. <laughs> I was just about to say, bro, you about to, you about to contradict yourself. Just don't answer those questions, cause you already said I don't, I don't do nothing. I don't do anything. So yeah, okay, he whoo, he light on his toes, man. Like you suppose. You're a bad person, dude. Mm -hmm. We get it, like, hey, you give a little here, take a little there, it's for extra money, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to understand is number one, what the actual reason is for you to sell it. I'm not saying you're a bad dude. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you don't look like a Pablo Escobar. It don't even matter what your reason is for. You can say anything to them right now, it don't matter. Cause you gonna have your day in court. That's where it's gonna matter it. All it is what you're talking right now, only thing that matters is you convicting yourself or not convicting yourself, you know what I'm saying, or incriminating yourself, rather. That's the only thing that matters. All that extra information don't mean shit. Yo, they just trying to find information on you. And then they trying to get you to, again, tell on yourself because you already said, I don't do nothing. So now if they asking you, um, what do you do it for? You know, we just want to see why you do it. Now, if you say, well, I do it because... X, Y, and Z. Now they telling you, now you just told them that you do it in such, in so many words. You know what I'm saying? So, zip, lawyer up, that's it. Like, are you? I mean, I might be confused. Does anyone at the store know that you do for extra money or no, no one else is involved with it? Mm -mm. How much do you sell at a time, dude? Not much. Well, what's not much? I mean, you had what? How much did you have with them? not much. You know, how much did you have with them? 30 grams. 30 grams. You just admit it. I mean, that's typically how much would you sell that for? Not much. What's not much? $160. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a lot for $160. Like, $160 is pretty <laughs> cheap compared to... Like, yeah, you shouldn't have even mentioned shit. Partially for the money, but at the same time, mushrooms for a lot of people are medicine, and they help a lot of people with a lot of issues, so right. they don't really need too much money. So. Right. Now you just contradicted your, your lies. How much would you get that for that you could sell it for 160 How much would I get that for? Mm -hmm. Not much. What's that much? Ha! <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, so you're making like 100 bucks profit. That's pretty good. Yeah. Like, I'm assuming if you buy it in bulk, right? Yeah. You're going to get a good deal. I don't really do, I don't really deal with mushrooms too much. 
No? No, it's fairly recent that it's been selling much, and clearly this is why. Yeah. How long have you been working at the Zoomies? Mm, a year in November. Have you been doing it the whole time there? No. No? How long have you been selling out of the store? Mm, a month or two. Okay. So you, you see what the issue here is, right? Like, how big of a clientele do you have? Does Not much. Not much? I don't make that much money. Okay. Well, the issue obviously still stands that we're here, obviously, so... Yeah. Patrick claimed that he had been engaging in the mushroom trade for approximately a year, seeing it as a strategic maneuver to expand his customer base discreetly within the realm of Zoomies. How long have you been selling the mushrooms for? Damn. Like a year. So you just started selling in the last two months at Zoomies, but you've been selling it for a year overall? About. Where do you typically get it from? Uh, okay. Like locally? At now, now he's been made comfortable. So now he's slowly spilling the beans. Let's hear it. Come on. Yeah, an old friend. Well, you don't seem like a bad dude, man. It's just one of those things I where you got yeah. caught up. Yeah. How much uh, mushrooms you do you go with this, this dude yeah. has that you usually get it from? He has? I'm not sure. He usually has, like, chocolate bars, but it's mainly weed that I get from him. But I've stocked up a long time ago on mushrooms, so that's why I kind of... I used to, used to take more myself, but after like a really bad trip, I didn't. I stopped taking them as much. It was mainly for me at first, mm -hmm. just to kind of stock up because they're hard to get. Yeah. The dude that you get in Port St. Lucie, mm -hmm. you said he has bars. Chocolate bars. The the stuff you had today wasn't chocolate bars. Oh, no. That's why I said he uses it as chocolate bars. I had gotten it a while ago. So that was from a while ago from that same guy. So what the fuck is chocolate bars? Y'all help me out in the comment section. The hell is some chocolate bars. I've been, I, hey, listen, man, I'm very street savvy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have my toe in and out of the streets. I ain't never heard of no chocolate bar. I didn't heard of handlebars. You feel me? I didn't heard of bars. I ain't never heard of no damn chocolate bars. Y'all gonna have to enlighten me on that one. You know what I'm saying? That's a new one for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are pretty old. Okay. All right, just give me a second. Dude, let me just ask you now. So obviously, not only do people, with tourists, whatever, just come in and randomly ask you, mm -hmm. and you just kind of give it to them. What about like, like kids, like juveniles? Oh no. You don't deal with juveniles because try my best. I mean, I don't ID people, but <laughs> like, because the issue that, like I said, the whole reason this started is because kids are getting banned. I've never sold mushrooms to any kids. Well, juveniles. I mean, in the teenage years, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference. I mean, like I said, I don't ID, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had anyone tell you that they've had a really bad trip or anything off the stuff you gave them? Yeah, probably police in the background patting his damn legs and shit. They, they all comfortable with this guy, just... The fuck, bro? That would not be like that with anybody else. Let's just be for real. If this dude was black, that would be playing. Good cop right here, the one that's talking to him, and bad cop back yonder. Yo. No, never. Mm -hmm. But you've had yourself personally. Well, I took way too many. How much is way too many? Um, it was about fourteen grams. You took a whole fourteen grams, just ate them. Well, it's called. I mean, it's called. Look, he back there. Whoa. See, it's like they talking to one of their homeboys. They just unfortunately got to do their job. You know what I'm saying? So they listening to. You know, they doing their job, but at the same time, they cool with him. No, I'm, I'm curious. This is me just. It's learning. called lemon teching. Uh, basically, if you grind up the mushrooms and put them in lemon juice, which mm -hmm. is citric acid, citric acid effect reacts to the psilocybin in the mushrooms, which um, it makes it. It basically doubles the dose, but it shortens the uh, trip. Oh. So where the trip might you take seven grams the trip might last eight hours if you lemon tech seven grams you're gonna trip way harder but it'll only be eight hours tripping whoa whoa i could never oh my god that's too long and then people stay doing this shit Nah, bro. For like two, three hours. Shit. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you like shut everything off and kind of just meditate? Well, you? that time I... Um, How do you come I out of that trip? I was in a really bad place at the time. Um, so I, I did 
did that. I did it in the dark in my bed. And um, you know, I like time travel. It was pretty, it was scary. I like partied with demon clowns. <laughs> This man said he time traveled. What the fuck? Then he said it was cool and scary. And he parted with demon clowns? Oh, no. I don't never want to indulge in nothing like that. Let me back him up a little bit. Well, that time I, um, I did it. Com I was in a really bad place at the time. Um, so I, I did that, I did it in the dark in my bed, and um, you know, I like time travel, it was pretty, it was scary. I like party with demon clown guys and stuff, Jesus. it was fun. yes. But, that's again I why Jesus. I always tell people that you need to weigh it out, and you need to know how much you take, because they can do that to you. But, like I said- See, they talking to a whole expert right here, this man knows the science, the ins and outs, the you know how to uh slow down how to shorten the trip and all of that type of stuff now he's telling he's an expert on this because he's a user as well and he can you know hey don't don't take it a little slow man you know you need to know how psh, hey before it does help i mean it's obviously mushrooms are starting to be legalized throughout the country. Mm -hmm. It is, it does help in a therapeutic in sense. You no, know, I've, heard, I've heard that. I've definitely heard that. Where do you have your ounces? Yeah. I'd rather not answer that. I've heard of that. I've definitely heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, let's take it light on this guy, man. You know, unfortunately, we got to do our jobs, but yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick, That's was there anybody else working at Zoomies today, or is it just you? No, I had one other worker. So there's somebody there right now? Yeah. Okay, cause we walk out. They just not worried about it? They just not worried about it? Wasn't they the arresting officers? Because if they were, then they obviously somebody spoke to that other employee that was there. You know what I'm saying? You and it's anybody else in there, I want to make sure it's secure. No, yeah, she's supposed to like call someone. Okay, yeah. all right. So you don't want to say where the rest of it is? I'd rather not. Okay, when well, you have a right to say no. I just want to make sure that what? it's not laying around where someone can get to it or try it or kid or anything like that. Nope. Yeah. So he just told them that he got some more, but I ain't going to tell y'all where it's at. What? That's crazy. That's wild. Should I ever do this again? To the cell and stuff like that? Yeah. After, if I get out of this, no, this is my... But like you said, unfortunately, the uh, what really was... The, I don't want to say bread and butter because that sounds like a terrible way to put it, but the, the most Reading important part about this is that we were getting complaints that kids were eating all of this and that kids were buying it. That's just and very and, and we'll, when we say, we say kids, but we, people under 18 years old. And you know, just as well as I do, like, it's hard to see like or tell how old somebody is. Yeah. Sometimes Let's we'll say minors then. Because y'all trying to make it sound, you know, I mean, it's bad. But y'all trying to, kids, y'all trying to make it sound like toddlers, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to imply that. I'm very curious about that. Like, that's why I'm very curious about it, because most people, I mean, they're all seem to be adults to me. That's why. That nigga damn near look like v Vlad TV right there. Very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Especially the mushrooms is, I have a very, even when friends of mine ask, because I do have people, you know, people are 18 I, and close, I tell them, I do not give mushrooms to children. Yeah. How, how, how tall are you? I'm 6'2". 6'2". How, how, six, how six. long have you been growing a beard? Um, it's been a while now, 6 plus years. Yeah, 6 plus years. How old are you? I'm 28, turning 28. 28. Okay, so I mean, like when you were in when you were in high school, did you have facial hair? Mm-hmm. I have facial hair. So and, and no, I definitely understand. Like, I definitely understand that you probably you probably uh, could walk into a gas station and, like pop beer. You know what I mean? The funny part is that when I was see what happened was they sent kids in there, quote unquote, minors in there. Cause that's the only reason why they know. Ain't no kid, ain't no minors getting a hold of this shit, and y'all just finding it out like it's coming from him. Now nah, y'all found out about his little operation, and the undercover cop is the kids that y'all are talking about. That's how y'all know. Y'all sit here and trying to play like y'all just got this information, and it just fell out of the sky into y'all lap. Nah, y'all heard about his operation. 
and y'all set up to play. Booyah. Come on now. Under age, Don't take I never science. got ID, and as soon as I came of age, I got you, ID. Usually how it happens. Yeah, yeah. it was very well, large. Because why y'all leaning on this so much? You know, kids got a hold of this. You do know you were selling the kids, right? You know, kids kids are getting out. That's the only way we found out is because kids got a hold of this. You know that, right? Yo, y'all keep bringing that shit up for a reason. Because y'all did that. Hard. No, I definitely understand that. I will say I have been very advocate for with anybody who ever asked me that I do not psychedelic to give I, mushrooms. I, I believe that. I don't, I don't believe you. Anyone, because because as somebody that. who, like I said, mm -hmm. tripped too bad, I understand yeah. that it could severely mess up your mental state. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I said, we're, we're not we're not yeah. saying you specifically went out and saw. No, I understand. Just, just I understand. I did situation. this. I fully understand. The ramifications yeah. of my choices. I know. Yeah. But, however, if I could say one thing, yeah. I always made sure that mushrooms never went to kids. Of course. Of course. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying, man. <clears throat> Does, uh, like, your trips, when you go on a trip, is it, like, always the same or is it something different each time? I would say so. I've only, that one time was the only time I ever saw anything that wasn't there. All the other times, it's usually just, you know, things are just kind of moving and colors are moving. You're like on that 70s show kind yeah, of? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, you look at your phone and <laughs> everything's dancing On that 70s around. show. It's usually pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Until you abuse it to the point where you take way too much and then it's yeah. your Like I said, I saw like crazy demon clowns and stuff that I you time you traveled with. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. They made time travel for demon Patrick clowns. Patrick was charged with with. felony counts of possession of a controlled substance times two. Sell, manufacture, distribute Schedule 1, 3, or 4 drugs times two. And unlawful use of a two way communication device times two. Patrick. Lastly, his bond was set at $120,000. Diesel. Head over to Code Blue Can. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> well, there it is. Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm shedding vibes. I need y'all to be cool out the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you're supposed. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga, Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.